Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan Ray again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you very much for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to invite you to subscribe to the channel because it's really gonna help me in growing this community. Today, I'm gonna be continuing the HDRP videos. We're gonna be looking at creating multiple volumes, also creating volumetric fog, and lastly, we're gonna be looking at film grain. So let's jump into Unity and let's start working on it. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the second video of my series for HDRP. The, what I want to do in this video is show you how you can create multiple volumes. If you remember from the previous video, we created a volume, we associated that volume with the post-processing volume game object. So what I want to do is I want to create a new game object where we're going to have a new volume. So to do that, right click on the hierarchy, create empty. And this one we're going to call it volume metric. Volume metric. Fog volume. And this one is going to basically create the volumetric fog for us and I want to keep it separate so that I can show you that we can create a new volume. Then I'm also going to add a, a new volume component. I'm going to also make it global. And the priority on this one is going to be zero. Let's go into the priority on the other one and that one should be set to one. So the higher the priority, the most important that it is. So that's how you can layer them. So let's go into volumetric fog. and. The other thing that I need to do is I, I could use the profile that I created on this one, but I want to use a new profile so that I can control that independently. So I'm going to click on new. And what that's going to do, it's going to use the game the game object name and then append the profile. If you click on it, you'll see that it saved it in the same location where the post processing was. So, okay, now that we have that created, I click on add overwrite. And you have a lot of different options in here like I showed you in the previous video. So we're going to create a fog, so we're going to click on fog and we're going to create a volumetric fog object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable all these settings because I want to show you how we can tweak them. Okay, excellent. So now that we have that enabled, the if you look at the base fog distance, it's way, way too high, and we need to lower that. Otherwise, we won't be able to see the, the, the fog because the fog is like way, way on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to 1, and then with that, we can go in and, and start changing You know how the fog is affecting and which actually gives it a really cool look so if i go you can see that you know as i'm changing the fog value it's changing the it's changing how the scene looks we're getting more foggy kind of like a more foggy look i can also change the height if i wanted to kind of see how that is is affecting so this will be the the base height i could change the mean height as well and it's actually making it a little more foggy and i i do like Let's do four and let's see on the on the base high we can make it let's make it five. Then we also have these other settings, the global anisotropy, and you can play with that one as well. You can see how that is affecting the the fog placement. And we can see that we have this fog that is surrounding the car. And and we can, you know, this could mean that this car is in the desert and we're getting a desert storm and you can animate some of these values, of course. So if we make this bigger, let's go something about that. And the global light probe dimmer, looks like that is not affecting it as much. And we can also change the distance. So if I want to go back to zero, let's say the max distance is going to be, looks like 100 is good. You can also enable distant fog. And this gives you just additional settings. Like if you want it, you know, if you want this to use the, the sky color, you could tell it or a constant color. So we could change that as well. I'm not gonna use that those settings. I think this gives us what we need. The other thing that you can use is if I click here, you can also change how the, the fog looks. So if I want to change the color, in this case it's called a single scattering albedo. And I could say, okay, I want it more of a blue or or I want it, you know, I want it to be very strong yellow because it's kind of like the colors that we're using and the fog is, is showing off more because of the color of the sun. So that kind of gives you kind of gives you an idea of you know how how fog works. So the other thing that I can use, let's go ahead and, and do another another effect since I think we have time to show you show you a different effect. So I show you that we have a lot of different different settings. So we also have what's called a film grain that I, I used in the previous post-processing stack. And we can we can add grain to this if we like to, and let me go ahead and enable it. And we're gonna see it right in this 
So the cool thing with this one is it has more settings. In the previous one, you couldn't really select how large. I think you could select how big the grain was, but this gives you basically a list. These are enums behind the scenes on how big you want the grain to be. So if you want it to be very large and we could increment the intensity, you can kind of see how that's starting to give us kind of like an old look on the car. And if I look at the response, let's see if we can we can play with some of these settings. I can make it. Looks at another cool feature here is we can also do a custom. And if you had a texture, you can associate that with a texture. And it will give you, you know, your own film grain cost, custom version. So I'm gonna go to large too and, and leave it leave it like that. I think that gives it that gives it a really cool look. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up in here. I hope hopefully that gives you an overview of how the volumetric fog is set up and what some of the settings do. Also how you can set up multiple volumes and how you can change the priority on them. So I'm going to continue and do another video where we'll continue and doing more effects the next time. So thank you very much guys. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time and if you have any questions please let me know. Also be sure to check out GameDev.net. They have amazing resources for game developers. And also check me out in Patreon.com where I'm posting videos and also what's happening behind the scenes. I'm also posting early access to source code to those that are supporting me as a patron. So thank you very much, guys.